Somebody walk on me, the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Yo, 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 what's going on Xbox and YouTube? Now, uh, tons of people have been asking me, is there a way to live stream to Facebook using your computer in a third party application such as XSplit or OBS? And I'm here to tell you guys today that yes, you can live stream using your computer, but it is at a very low quality and a max bit rate of 2,500 kilobytes, which isn't too bad, but it's also not too great. But with that being said, let's jump into showing you how to set up your live stream from your computer so you can live stream to Facebook. So as you guys can see right here, we have XSplit opened, obviously. Now you're going to need XSplit to use XSplit, obviously, to stream to Facebook. But the other thing that you're going to need is Wirecast. Now I will put a download link for the brand new Wirecast in the description below, so make sure you download that. And once you have that downloaded, just make sure to open Wirecast and don't worry about any of the other things within the program. And once we have Wirecast open, as you can see, it's kind of a boring but yet complicated looking program. All you need to do is go to your output settings. Now, once you select output settings, this window will pop up. Now, you're going to want to go all the way down this destination window until you see Facebook. And then you want to select Facebook. Now, this is the tricky part. <laughs> you have to authenticate your Facebook, which I'm going to blur my information. But once you've signed into your Facebook, which is... Oh, wow, really? All right, so once you have signed into your Facebook and authenticated your Facebook through Wirecast, all you want to do is click this little Create button down here. Now, once you've clicked the Create button, you will see... Right under location, it gives you all of these crazy looking numbers and all of that kind of stuff. So once you get those numbers, you're going to want to open your XSplit back up again, go to add a channel, go to custom RTMP, and basically enter your stream name, which will be this first number right here. Or I'm sorry, th this will be your RTMP URL. So you want to take this first one, copy it, And then you want to put it right in the RTMP URL spot. And with the second number, this is the tricky part with this. See this big, long second number right here. You're going to want to make sure you do not get these semicolons or the space in between the numbers. And you want to do the same thing. Copy that, and that will be your Facebook stream name. So you want to enter that right into your stream name there. Now, you can use whatever codec you want. I use the H.264 codec, but you can only go to a max bitrate of 2,500 kilobytes. So if you go above that, Facebook will either terminate your live stream or it will just run very, very shitty. So once you have all of those settings put into your uh, XSplit, all you want to do is name it, obviously. So Facebook stream, let's just name it like that. So once you have it saved, you're pretty much good to go. And I will show you guys that it works and make sure you never create this actual live stream from Wirecast. You just want to use the authentication codes. So once we have that, we'll start the Facebook live stream here and let's check Facebook. Whoop. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now live on Facebook, and that is how you live stream to Facebook using XSplit or any other third-party application. I really do hope I've opened you guys' perspective and showed you good enough in a good enough way on how to set this up, and if I did, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace!